It's California living. <laughs> With Samantha Cortese. Sramdantha de Cortaliza. Samantha Cortino Jr. Sammy Lynn Corvette. Featuring Shrimpampa Cortese. And introducing Robert Malibu Bobby Puente. It's California Living. Welcome to California Living. Shrimpampa sends her regards. I will be doing the segment today. Home prices continue to soar in Southern California. New data released by real estate firm DQ News, not Dairy Queen News. <laughs> Dairy Queen? I know you thought of your blizzard or your dip cone, but oh, no. Dilly D bars, baby. <laughs> the dilly bars. The cherry is so underrated. DQ News shows prices rose by double digits in March in all corners of the region for eight straight months. The medi median house price in L.A. County jumped 17 percent to $750,000. In Orange County, it rose 10 percent to $835,000. Riverside County, $475,000. That's an 18 percent jump. In San Bernardino County, same 18 percent jump there to $430,000. And to round this out, Ventura County rose 12.5 percent. $660,000 median home price. Real estate agents and economists say a mix of factors is driving this boom. Mortgage rates have tumbled. People are looking for more space. Millennials are at the age where they're looking to become first time homeowners. Ah, and that brings me to this. Let's say you don't have a Millie, but you do want to own something. I, for the most part, the millennials I know still say owning a home is in the future. It's a desire. It's a dream. So we're going to look at a few places that are less than $1 million, but how much less? And so first, let's hang a left and go to Franklin as we leave KTLA, where we will find this. It's a one bed, Robert, stop cheating, two bath, <laughs> one bed, two bath, 18, no, I'm sorry, 1180 oh, square pretty. feet. It's unique. It's, it's a two so, story. It's just like you live in the white void. Mm -hmm. I like it though. Yeah, I, see, I get that point. But. I forgot. You don't have a lot of personality. It's tough. Oh, oh. stop. This is Whitley Heights, <laughs> an architectural loft designed by highly acclaimed architect Clive Wilkinson. Concrete floors, dramatic angles. There are high end design details within this Hollywood loft. Yes, for those who don't know, this is Hollywood. Two tandem garage parking spaces oh. with storage installed personal electric vehicle charger okay. yes it has one five guest parking spaces oh, and wow. only nine total units in this complex Ooh. there's a security gate because this is franklin avenue in hollywood after all this is on the west side of the 101 just a couple blocks from hollywood and highland this was built in 2008 and the hoas are 552 dollars per month so how much is this listed for okay for how much is this listed? one? I'm sorry, one more time. One bedroom. Like it. It's one bedroom, two bath. Two bath. And the bedroom is a loft. Mm -hmm. So it's probably mm -hmm. like a, a downstairs guest bed bathroom, and then yes. some upstairs. They renovated mm -hmm. to add the powder room downstairs, and there is a one bath upstairs, loft bedroom, and 1180 square feet. Okay. And it's just a stone's throw away from the station. Yeah. Uh, I want to say that this is, because it's on that side of the freeway, a, a little less expensive than if it was on the Los Feliz side, where I know on Franklin there's there's a real mm -hmm. lot of really nice stuff. Um, I, this is probably in the, because it's a one-bedroom loft, but it's kind of interesting and modern and newer-ish, I would say this is $799,000. Damn it. Damn also, it, says. <laughs> I want to mention two things. Be specific with your guesses. And... Um, they said you could, Robert, you said you were a fan, you could add in the furniture if you want oh. for a negotiable price. Also, but the way it's staged now, you can keep it that way. You could, but this is without the furniture. Interesting. All right. So seven ninety nine from Andy. I was going to go around there uh, lower, so I'm still going to stick low. I'm going to say seven hundred eighty three thousand. Seven eighty three, Robert. Um. Yeah, it's like in Hollywood. It's not in WeHo. We go a little closer that way. Things will get a little more expensive. But I think the place is really nice. I will say 850. 
eight fifty, mm. seven ninety nine, seven eighty three. How much for this one bedroom loft in Hollywood on Franklin Avenue? Eight fifty is gonna be high. Oh my gosh! Andy Reesmeyer. How on earth? You get one peel reduction. You get a banana wow. peel reduction for that. I technically I'd be closer, but because I, I went over, that breaks no, the rules, Andy, right? He's on the said nose. Seven ninety nine. Exactly oh, he said seven. I thought he said oh, okay. I can't with you. On the nose. Okay. We go also, not too far you away. Like that furniture in there. That furniture is the is like the modern day Patrick Bateman. No one should ever live in a house that looks like that. That guy's a mean dude and does not call people back. I'm just saying. I like the concrete floors. The yeah. glass yeah, around the I kitchen like right there. See the glass. Or, see the, all the blood. I love the mint in the kitchen. Do you see the glass? Like the the like glass the around the kitchen. Yeah, the man. Uh huh. Things. I think the bones are great. I'm just saying, like the idea that the bike's something. here because I would bike to work if I lived here. Yeah. Okay, so you like this one? I don't on know, Franklin. Andrew. It's a cool-looking <laughs> building. You, you can't deny yeah. that. I yeah, would never definitely. walk outside my house, <laughs> ever. <laughs> I would legitimately go straight to my car and drive down the block uh -huh. in that neighborhood if I had to. You have to walk. You have to drive somewhere to walk cannoli. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I would have to drive somewhere to walk my dog. Yeah. Uh, that's just me, though. I'm a, I'm a woman, so it might be a little different. I don't know. Not too far away, we go to Silver Lake. This is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom, fourteen hundred twenty-two square feet. This is a tri-level townhome it is considered the heart of silver lake keep that in mind this is the end unit the most private unit on the complex Ooh. it has an attached garage and hookups for laundry so in unit laundry a nice built out patio you walk upstairs to get to your kitchen your living room and both bedrooms are on the third floor this was built in 1980 that's lopsided sorry sam Oh, that's okay. I just, that really stuck out to me. What the heck? That both bedrooms are on the third floor? Oh. No, that the chandelier is lopsided. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> that, I, you know what? Hold on. I need to pay. Can you tell Cordeliza <laughs> that the lampshade was crooked? Yeah. Hey, engineering. Hey, Thank engineering. You. This is Robert with Web Studio. <laughs> <laughs> Robert's paying too much attention to the show. I need him to go back to watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> in remote 15. Remote 15. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, built in 18, 1980, HOA is $300 oh. a month. And just for what it's worth, it's home values in Silver Lake have increased 5.6% in the last 12 months. And Zillow predicts that will increase another 5.5% mm -hmm. over the next year. Wow. So how much for this uh, in Silver Lake, two bed, two bath. It's a tri-level town home, 1422 square feet. Again, I think it's beautiful. I absolutely love it for I a like first time it, homeowner. Yeah. I don't love the carpet, but like, again, speaking on someone who would be a first time uh, home buyer, you know? So who's starting? I'll go first. Bobby. I'm gonna say this is 873,000. Bobby, 873, Andy. Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine from Andy. Goodness, Robert. I will go ahead and say eight hundred thousand. He's going eight hundred flat. So for this Silver Lake tri level town home, you millennials out there trying to buy, here is the answer on Mikel Torena Street, eight fifty. Eight fifty. Dang it. Well, I, again, I'm like I don't I don't write these down. I'm doing so much back here. Who's closest? Well, it's not you, Andy. It's, it's I, Rob. I was over. I was gonna go what low. What did you say? Eight sixty-three. Eight seventy-three. Seventy-three. I was number, gonna go yeah. low, and then as you were going along, I went higher and higher and uh, higher. I ended with eight seventy-three. Rob. Rob lowballed me, so he took it. Rob got it, but bookmark this, this because that neighborhood things are selling way over ask. Yes. I'm I bet you that this will probably go into the nines easily. Um, and I want to see how that how They're that selling ends up. well. And um in this community, you could probably walk your dog. You could probably even grab like a wine in the local oh my God, winery down the street. Amazing. You're right over by by uh, Night Market Song, and there's the Alfred across the yeah. street there, yeah. and all the way up to Park right Get there. Get yourself the a little blue lavender latte so, at Alfred. Yeah. Why not? And these days, a three hundred dollar oh. HOA isn't that. It's bad. not atrocious. You're yeah. right, mm -hmm. Robert. This one's for you in Redondo Beach. Two words: ocean oh, view. Look at that! Wow. Mm -hmm. But two more words: sort of. 
Yeah, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> this is 956 square feet, two bedroom, two bathroom, updated vanities, open living room, kitchen area. You have a private balcony with, yes, an ocean view. You have in-unit laundry and two side-by-side -side parking spots. No tandem parking here. There's a common area deck, which is on the same floor as your unit and beach access directly from the building. Wow. Built in 1976, this is Casa Bahia and HOAs are $580 per oh, month. Man. For reference, home values in Redondo have increased 3.4% over the past 12 months. So not as much as other places no. in LA, but Zillow says they will increase about 6% over the next year. So if you mm. wanted what looks like a little, uh, VRBO for people coming into California. How much would you pay for this on the beach mm. apartment? Man, you almost wish that you didn't have the ocean view. Something yeah. about having that little of an ocean view makes it makes it worse. It's like a slap in the face to be like, yeah, you're the, here it is. You can see yeah. it. Pretty just be yeah, just being able to put ocean view like on the listing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, jacks yeah. up the price even if it's not. Where that is great. it? We passed Did it. you say how high the HOA was, Sam? Five something. Five eighty. Five eighty. Okay, That's a so high HOA. You just have to you almost jump off the ledge to see that ocean. <laughs> Redondo. I mean, All right, Robert, still... you start this time because we started with Andy and Bobby in the last one. It is in Redondo, which is a little pricey already off the bat. I know the increase was already small, but it, it's already pricey to begin with, uh, especially being that close to the coast. Um, but you are far far from LA. Personally, I would not. It's not one of my favorite ones. Uh, it's far from work. Um, I will say <laughs> seven hundred thousand. Yeah, I seven hundred. Seven hundred. Yeah. Locked in my answer. I think seven hundred is low. I think it's going to be eight hundred eighty-six because of location. That makes sense. But if you look at the actual like house, it's it's not a big house. Eight eighty-six from Bobby. Andrew, not much time, dude. Go ahead. Uh, six six fifty. Six fifty. Seven hundred. You said. Yeah, I said seven hundred. All right, let's see. On 555 Esplanade in Redondo, 979. Whoa. Bobby, yeah. what was your guess? And I, and I, 886. Bobby you got, got it. it. I got it, and I was still low. <laughs> so it's all location, 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 location. Ocean that's where all that money comes from. Ocean view. Ocean view. Ocean you, view. You, you don't even have your own property. And that's like you're, a lot, you're around a lot more units than the other place that we just yeah. saw. Well, let's go out for our last one today to G Town. This is home of the Tartans, Glendora. This is an A-frame on Sycamore Street. And Glendora is so unique. Is this the house? Ooh, this is the house. The no way. Wow. It's, cool. Yes, I think you're right, Bobby. This should have a tiki theme, but they kind of went in like a multicolored direction. Anyway, they you'll went, see here. That's that 70s show, but yeah. our TV is broken. But they have a wolf range stove. This is a four bedroom, three bathroom. This house is huge. 2336 square feet. The realtor wow. says the home was renovated in 2019 from the plumbing to the roof. They spent $350,000 to renovate this house. They got the paint for free though, right? $350,000 <laughs> to renovate? Just to renovate in oh. 2019. They needed to also hire an interior designer. Oh no. No, no, it's, a, it's lovely. It's truly lovely. The house is fitted by the way with waterproof hardwood floors, which have a lifetime guarantee. So don't worry about the dog tracking in all the water into the house. New cabinets, new wolf range, new lighting, double pane windows, a sunroom in the backyard. Yes, it is permitted. The entire lot is about 11,000 square wow. feet. Whoa. The home was originally built in 1955 and there are no HOAs. So how much for this home in Glendora? How many bedrooms was this? Four bedroom, three bathroom. I can't believe this is I'm under More than 2,300. It's because you're out in Glendora. That's why it's location, yeah. location, location. Yeah. The, 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 the 350,000 to renovate it's shocking. It's a lot shocking. Of and that's yeah. going to, I mean, they're going to want to recoup that. So I'm going to say that this is. Why are those Adirondack chairs in the in pool? The pool. Yeah. In the what pool. In the pool. What's going on? There's here? a lot of weird, tacky things about this house, but whatever. I'm going to go 975. 975. Bobby. Uh, Robert. Uh, 850. Just 850. Because... 975. 850. And Andy for the last guest of the day. Ooh, it's like somebody getting a nose job and making the nose bigger. Uh, you just don't know why you spent the money. Uh, I'm going to say it was nine nine 900000 And the answer for that home on Sycamore in Glendora, the A-frame 1950 home, $949. Wow. wow. Bobby, Dang. super close. I know. Super yeah, close. These guys, they, 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 
if you're working if you're few working with thousand. this much money like what do you like you have, you have to decide do i want to commute an hour or two to work or do what i want to have live a pool in Glendora? i just because i would love that the house like would be a area yeah I mean, that's but, a nice area your commute to work though would be quite well, for, for us for but us. if they work out there well, or they you could go to the other direction. You were the only person with your commute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, look, we love uh, looking at houses around Southern California, and I don't blame you, Robert, because I always go, what would my commute be if I could still live here and work there? But that is your California living for today. All those homes, all those different places across L.A. and surrounding areas, under $1 million, even if it's just slightly. And we'll see you next week on California Living.